Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Acuity, uh, according to Human Rights Watch, the terrorist group ISIL have abducted, <laughs> tortured, and abused more than 150 Kurdish children over the past six months. Captured children describe being forced to undergo intense religious indoctrination and being beaten with cables if they didn't comply. In recent videos, ISIL fighters seem to brag about buying and selling Yazidi girls on the open slave market. Mr. Speaker, these atrocities cannot be allowed to continue. Can the Minister of National Defence please update this House on a Operation Impact and on Canada's contribution to the fight against these Good barbaric question. terrorists? The Honourable Minister of National Defence. It seems every day we hear new reports of the malicious and despicable acts that ISIL is committing across the Middle East. Recently, Canada's CF-18s attacked and destroyed engineering equipment that was being used by ISIL to divert the Euphrates River. ISIL's intent was to flood roads and villages and to divert traffic onto roads that they could then mine with improvised explosive devices. Depriving ISIL of the means to commit mass atrocities is exactly why the Canadian Armed Forces are involved with this fight. I again want to thank and commend our men and women in uniform for their efforts in this successful strike. Yeah.